Hey guys, if you've been playing ready or not on your ROG ally, you probably noticed lighting issues on some maps, especially on the mission 23 megabytes a second. The lighting is completely blown out on that level. From what I've read, this started happening after the Dark Waters DLC went live. I was playing this game about a year ago and I can confirm it didn't used to look like this. Some say this is an Unreal Engine 5 issue and I think the game just isn't well optimized yet for mobile gaming PCs. Especially those with integrated graphic cards like the Z1 Extreme used in devices like the ROG Ally or Legion Go. But don't worry, there's a quick and easy fix for this issue and I'll show you exactly how to solve it. First, visit the GitHub link I've left in the description and pinned comment below. You should be able to see this page. This is a file by ALXN1. Currently it has the title D3D12 Proxy 0.0.4. To download, just click on this first zip file, the D3D12 Proxy. Now once downloaded, you should be able to see this file on your download folder. Now just copy this file. Go to your C drive, click on program files.86, go to Steam, then go to Steam apps, go to common, ready or not, another ready or not folder, go to binaries, then finally Win64. And this is the location where you need to paste the downloaded file. You should know you are on the right folder if you see the .exe shipping file. As you can see I already pasted the file here. Next step is to extract the file. Once you extract, you should be able to see this D3, D12 proxy folder. Copy the two files inside that folder. Move back to the original folder then paste the files here. So these two files, the dxg1 and then the, and then the dxg1 proxy should be in the same folder as the .exe shipping file. Then just delete the extracted folder. I also just keep the zip file here just in case I need it in the future, but you can also delete this if you want. And after that, if you have your game running, just close it and you need to relaunch the game. Let's see the results. And look at that, the lighting is fixed. This looks so much better. I believe this doesn't just fix this mission, but it may also help with lighting issues on other missions as well. Honestly, I don't know why the ready or not devs haven't patched this yet. As far as I can tell, this bug has been around for a while. Hopefully they roll out an official fix soon, or better yet, optimize the game properly for integrated graphic cards especially with all the new handheld PCs hitting the market. That's it for today's video. I hope this quick fix helps you and enjoy the game the way it's meant to be played. Have fun breaching and clearing operators. Happy trails.